This game takes reverse puzzle game to the next level. The idea is that you are shown the solution to the puzzle and the goal of the game is to force this solution. And you do that by placing down objects in the level to create that puzzle. So I have walls. I can plop them down here, forcing them to make that zigzag, solving the puzzle. And you only win if there's no shorter solution possible. What about this solution? See, this is interesting. All right, is forced to zigzag. Is this what this new box is about? What is this, what does this do? Oh, it's a pushable box. I guess I accidentally solved it. <laughs> That's funny. How about this one? It's got a zig left and then left and then that again. Well, so the pushable box is helpful, so we could zig once. How do you force him to zig again instead of just going around? Well, I guess I could do something like this. Just create barriers on the side. And what's stopping him from only doubling back once? I'm not so sure yet. Um, I wonder if almost having a box here would help. And then setting this up here. So he's forced to push this box right, then this box left, then this box right. Does it work? It does. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. What about this solution? So he's got to go around the edge. Oh, that's a very strange path. So probably a box here because this is where he doubles back. And maybe two boxes here? Or actually a box here, no box here could be interesting. Box here. Okay, this is kind of interesting. So these two boxes almost serve as a wall because you're not touching them when they're connected to the corner. But this box to get out has to be pushed from the bottom twice, landing it here, which then I think should solve the top part. This is really interesting. What a fun take on reverse puzzle games. How about this solution? Uh, almost gets the flag. He's right there. So, hmm. How does he get right next to the flag without winning? Maybe a box can be pushed on the flag? So like this box would be pushed on the flag, but it couldn't be pushed any further? I also don't know if you can push multiple boxes at the same time. What if I put a wall here and a box here? So he's got to push the box up, right? I guess he actually doesn't have to do that. He could just go left. Yeah, he could go left and then push this box up. So I almost have to prevent him from doing that somehow. Well, actually this box might not be necessary. I might be able to put two boxes here as a barrier, forcing him to push this box up. Then because this is a solid wall, he can't push the box left. He would have to push it down. That might work actually. Oh, nope. <laughs> uh, missed the easy solution. Okay, let's do some testing. Can he push multiple boxes at once? What if I set something up like this? Can he push multiple boxes at once? This puzzle is impossible because he cannot push multiple boxes at once. Okay, that changes a little bit. So now I want to design with that in mind. He's still got to push this box into the flag and probably push a box out of the way in order to win. I would guess that means, yeah, yeah. Now having a box here as well, so he has to push this box up. And a box here and a box here. I think one more box here means he can't double push. Then at least he has to go up, then left, then up again. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Wow. <laughs> How interesting. Oh, and they got varying heights. So I assume he can walk over a box. What is the solution? That showed him going down, but then when I test the puzzle, he wants to go across, so I guess he does have to be able to walk across. Well, how about this? I assume he can walk over this box. He can't go down. Oh, well, if he has a pushable box, he could probably go down then. That's the idea, right? Pushes down off the cliff, then walks on it, so you can walk on both types of boxes. There's a raised box here. What's the solution? So go down. Well, not go down. Just go on that path, but without going down or up. And also, because this platform is raised, I gotta make sure he doesn't go on it. I can't place anything on it. Uh, how is this possible? I have to use pushable boxes somehow, which can go another layer up, so that might change things a bit. Okay, hold on then. I could start with something like this, or I almost uh, make it push it over the edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let me show you what's going on here. You would have to push it over, then walk, push it over, then walk, push it over, then walk. So that sort of pattern, is that enough to just win? Because he can do it arounding the corner. He can do it here. Actually, he can just win, I think, from here. But why doesn't he just win beforehand? <laughs> so it's not that easy yet. Honestly, I probably should just get rid of this and leave this up here. This probably works. Oh, interesting. He can't push a push pushable box over a pushable box. Very interesting. Okay, let me try just doing this then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
surely he still has to go the same route. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Hamiltonian path. He's got to go left and then up zigzag through the whole thing. Hmm. My first instinct is doing something similar, right? Where he's got to forge the path like this, like one little piece at a time. But how do I get him to zigzag around? I would love to set this up, but if after he pushes the box over, why wouldn't he just go up? Right? Let me make sure I'm not crazy when it comes to this. Um, well, actually, I'm a touch confused. I'm not sure why he didn't take the shortcut. Maybe I'll build out the rest of the puzzle and then see. Like, I'll build out the zigzag just assuming it's going to work. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't have enough of these uh, pushable boxes to actually do six of them. I mean, this looks like it's going to cause a ton of problems, right? Yeah, okay. He does go up eventually. So this would be fine if I had six pushable boxes, but it's not fine. It's never fine. I guess I could actually get rid of this pushable box um, and just force him to go straight here. That actually might be it. Let's see, because he's not going to push up. Is there any other catch I'm missing? I think this is good. Nice. Memory training? What, is the solution like really convoluted or something? So he zigzags, goes up, and then kind of doubles back around. Oh, this is really specific. What? Are you kidding me? This is possible? I like that at least you can show the step, or you know, the solution is stepwise function. It's 22 steps. Uh, how do I break this down in a more understandable way? So he goes across it vertically, then goes around. He zigzags on it. This is possible with only 10 placeable blocks? Let's at least try to get the first part, yeah? Like in the beginning, he's got to start by turning left, which could look like this. Then he goes across, and then forced to double back for some reason. I mean, this is going to be some crazy box pushing stuff, but I haven't decided how yet. I could do something like this. So at least like this would force the beginning. He has to go all the way back to here, but then needs to go up. That's the key. How would I force him to go up? Maybe by making him push off a box in the beginning? Yeah, hold on. Something about this seems close. I'm not sure exactly how close yet. He'll go and then zigzag around here. He'll push this. He wants to go this way. I mean, if I can force him to go left here, what, what if I place this here? Does this change anything? Because like, it looks like that's really close. No, he'll double back. Okay. Yeah, because I figured this is the ending. This is the ending, but he's four steps too fast. So this push, it could actually start with a box here because he does have to go down. He is forced to zag down. So that actually might be it. Wow, this is really cool. This is awesome. <laughs> I can't believe the complexity that stemmed from this. It feels awesome to solve too because I don't know, just the way I've been piecing together. Okay, it's a button and a wall. Obviously the button triggers the wall. What does the solution look like? Goes straight, up, doubles back, and then there. Okay, actually seems pretty simple. I would have a green wall here and a button up here, and then a regular old wall just hanging out. All right, minimal parts. Minimalist puzzle. Kind of looks like an exclamation mark. Oh, and here we can have walls that start down. Let's see, so he's got to go straight, turn left, all right, just zigzag through. So is the idea that each button affects every wall I'm just going to place all these down. Okay, each button affects every wall. How do I want to think about this? Where would I want him to press a button? I, maybe from the very end? Well, three buttons means that with an odd number of button presses, a wall will end at the opposite position which it started with. So at the very end, this is going to want to be down. So it should be the opposite position right now, which is up. And that button, last button could be here, I guess. Maybe I could actually do something kind of similar where, oh, I don't have enough walls for all this. I was thinking I do something kind of like this. This might work still. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay. He's forced to double. He, he chooses to double back. Oh, if you can hit the same button twice, why wouldn't you? Okay. So maybe like the first couple moves should be forced. Like where I have a wall here, a down wall, the button here hypothetically in the beginning he would go straight hit this button these walls would pop up so he'd be forced to go to here but he could always just go back to the same button this is strange what if like the first button were here i would have to block it off with walls like this almost maybe start by making him go to the button 
I could actually have this be the next button. That could be interesting. A button followed by a button, but with a wall that's up here, and then a button out here. Does, it, does this seem close? He's gotta go down, hit the button, then the button. Oh, but he's gotta go up. I see how that's a problem. Wow, uh, this one is genuinely stumping me. <laughs> I guess I gotta think about the whole thing a little better. First button could be here, forced to go that way, then walls would pop up, then he's gotta make it to this corner. This might actually be it, right? Get to the button, go to- Ah, double backing! Damn it. This level is evil, but in a loving and nice way. I am fairly certain that one of these two spots needs to have a button, and one of these two spots needs to have a button. With the route going like this, what is to stop me from just taking a shortcut, jumping across to here, ignore the bottom two? If I want the bottom two to be reached, they must matter for some reason, which uh, I guess having a button is the only way it can matter. And then same with doubling back up here. What's to stop it from going here? Uh, well, there needs to be a button up here. But let's talk about the button itself. Let's say I place a button. What's to stop me from doubling back? Like, let's say this is the first button I press. I could have a box that's down here, um, and then just walls here, forcing it to go and hit the button. But then it'll just double back here. You know, let's say I have some sort of route like this. Like, yeah, I would love for him to go up, then over, then down. I would love for that. But he's just gonna double back. Is this where the other wall would come in, maybe? Does this help him, actually? Or help me? Oh. Oh my god, it said 7 out of 10! That's it! This is how you prevent doubling back. The square before is down, and the square after is above. That was really tricky for its size. Backtracking revisited. Okay. Hmm. This is the same puzzle, yeah? Or I would want a wall... Oh, here. Interesting. So I gotta almost press the button in the beginning. The walls start down and not up, and that's the difference. Well, how do I prevent backtracking here? I think the two walls like this would have to start. Yeah, I think I would almost have to start like this. Yeah, because once I press the button, these two walls will pop up, preventing any backtracking, right? Well, wouldn't he just backtrack going forward? Well, no, no, I can have a second button. I could have another button. And then the walls will come back down, so I have to then stop them from going straight to the exit. So maybe a third button. All right, so three buttons, and then the walls will be up again, and if this is blocked, that's fine. Ideally, there needs to be an even number of button presses to allow it to go to the exit. So it might look like this. Might look like that? Let's see. So it'll go up. Yeah, even number of button presses. Six. Wow. <laughs> All right, uh, I felt pretty good about that. Dichromatic? Oh, there's two sets of buttons. I'll hang out here now. So it goes down, right, up. Okay, it zigzags through the whole thing. So again, he needs to be able to go here, and then he needs to go here, then he needs to go here. But like, would I maybe swap out colors in the middle or something? I'm not sure. Well, maybe the, the buttons right next to each other wouldn't be the same color, yeah? So they'd almost be unrelated, or maybe the button would be here or something. I don't know, some idea like this. This is down, this is up. I mean, what's wrong with this idea? Just, just throwing it all out here. Button goes down, bridge goes down, and then they swap, and oh, he doubles back, you dick. Oh, you're the worst. Okay, so let's, let's just say we got this much down, okay? So I've got to walk all the way up. So I think a blue button is necessary here, but honestly, it could be a green button. That might be all right. No, he'll just do some doubling back again then, won't he? Let's see. No, he does got to go up, then down, and then up. Oh, well, that's just it. Okay. It's the little extra blue at the end. Right on. Depth for search. So it goes up and then middle, left, then middle, then down, and then right. <laughs> you idiot. Just go right first. So I imagine there'd have to be one up wall in both colors, and I have to get to the buttons. I almost wonder if it would work like this. Oh, interesting. There's only one down position. If there's two blue buttons, I wonder if the first wall should be down. Well, what's stopping them from just going from green and then winning? Oh, this is weird. I actually don't know how to think about this one properly. How about I think about this more conceptually? What if the first one up unlocks half of the route to the flag? Then the second way will unlock the second half of the route to the flag, but simultaneously lock the first half. And then the third route will unlock 
that first half of the flag. I don't know if I have enough buttons for that though. I feel like I would need three of one color to do that. So yeah, I go and hit blue. That could unlock this. And then I could go all the way to hitting green. I don't know, how does this work? So it'll go up, hit that, and then it'll go across, come back, come down, and then do nothing. Because there needs to be a blue button at the bottom, but there isn't. No blue buttons left. Well, there doesn't need to be this blue button here since it's pressed twice. I guess that could be the idea. Yeah, let me see. Does this work? We'll go up, then it'll go left, blocking the top blue button and then forcing the bottom blue button. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I had that extra button there. Nice. Go home. So it goes all the way across. Does he go back to the very start? Across then back to start. Then over here. Then one tiny little cutback. Okay, so there must be a button right here. Since blue or green doesn't matter, or let's just say it's blue. There has to be a button there. But then, how does he go all the way back in the beginning? There needs to be a, some reason for him to go all the way and not just halfway. But I can't place anything on that tile, so what gives? The only way it would make sense is if he wants to press buttons an even number of times instead of an odd number of times. But what good is pressing an even number of buttons? Like, let's say in the beginning, he's got to go all the way, hit this green or whatever. Now open the green gate, why doesn't he just go in? Probably because something on the top side? Like, there's a door down here or something like that? I guess if there were a button at this intersection here, if he walks on it coming back, that being an odd number of presses would have to be no good. It would then have to be an even number of presses. I could do like three blue buttons here. The three presses. It's that, this is four, this is five. Five should be no good. So even will be needed to get past this blue, but then even should not be necessary to get past, uh, to here. So that's why this button is necessary. Is that close? So he hits the buttons, hit green, go one. Oh, you will double back there, you dick! I see, I see. Okay, let's swap some colors here. What if this here were blue and these were green? First, I hit three greens, and then a blue. I would come back, hit four greens. I would need four greens to be wrong, but it could just double back for five. Yeah, it could always double back for five. So maybe these do have to be the same color. So then this should actually be down because for blue going in here, one can't be enough. So it would go and it would hit two, then come back, but then it would hit three and it would be up. So I would need Two more buttons here then? It would get this far, and then go all the way back, and then still, yeah, it'd be good. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's progress. About where I wanna be actually. So it'd be 11 blues. So that means this should be up to begin with, and this down, I suppose. And it's still gotta hit this green, which actually might just be here. Does this work? Ah, oh, it'll double back there. So if it attempts to double back, so maybe it ne we need to hit green an even number of times, like this. I don't know why this should be a green button then. Yeah, why would you have a green button behind a green door? Well, maybe you don't need this door here? No, I just hit the green once and that's actually now ideal all of a sudden. Also, what if this were down now? Hmm, interesting. I am not positive that this can't be green. Same with this here. The main thing is I'm gonna need to hit blue again. How would this start? Would it double back by going left? It would double back on that. Maybe I should go back to what I know instead of guessing and checking. Square one. Yeah, so this puzzle is really hard. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to give it a break. If you wanna see more, I'll play another one and beat this level to begin off the next episode. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. So have a wonderful day and peace.